Good morning students myself Parveen your science teacher first of all i welcome you all on our youtube channel so you should subscribe our channel so that you can get more valuable videos that will help you in your studies so students today i am going to teach about a natural resource that is coal it is said that if you truly love the nature you can see the beauty of nature nature it has provided us so many things that help us to live on the earth and students you know that our earth it is the only planet on which life exists it is because of some features that we have got first we have air then we have water and our earth is at right distance from the sun so that our normal temperature range can be maintained here which will help in our survival so students let's talk about natural resources so as it is clear from the name natural resources what are resources resources are the materials that help us to live on the earth and the natural resources that we get from nature we get from nature air water sunlight soil these are the examples of natural resources natural resources are of two types renewable and non renewable resources how we can define them renewable resources they are present in large amount on the earth and they are limitless there is no danger that they will exhaust one day they get replenished automatically as we are using and there is not much effect of human activities on renewable energy resources examples are air water sunlight next is non renewable resources that is the opposite of renewable resources non renewable resources they are present in limited quantities and there is a danger that if the human activities and the human interference keep on going they will get exhausted one day examples are coal petroleum so in this topic we will study about the natural resource coal so students coal it mainly contains carbon hydrogen small amounts of sulfur and nitrogen so i repeat it has carbon hydrogen and small quantities of sulfur and nitrogen so how coal was formed coal was formed from the dead remains of plants that got buried under the surface of earth but when it is a huge time near about 300 million years ago the plants that were existing on the earth's crust they get buried deep under the earth crust because of some disturbances like floods and uh, earthquakes they got buried under the earth surface and with the passage of time due to enormous heat and pressure they get decomposed to coal let's see it from this diagram here i have shown you that near about 300 million years ago that plants they got buried under the earth after so many years near about 100 million years ago with heat and with this weight they start decomposing and finally due to enormous heat and pressure they get changed to coal so coal it is a natural resource we get it from dead remains of plants that's why it is called fossil fuel coal is a fossil fuel and coal it is the main energy source in india lots of heat and electricity is produced by coal in thermal power stations not only the heat 
there are many other uses of coal so how we can obtain the different products of coal it is by the process of destructive distillation of coal so destructive distillation of coal means when coal is heated in the absence of air it gives us different products definition of destructive distillation of coal is heating the coal in the absence of air to get different products so when destructive distillation of coal is done we get three main products that is coke coal gas coal tar and coal gas let's talk about first of all about coal gas so coal gas it is produced at the time of destructive distillation of coal so this coal gas it is excellent fuel and it is used in industries which are which are present near the coal processing units so it is used as fuel next we are talking about coal tar coal tar it is a black thick liquid which is the product of destructive distillation of coal actually this coal tar it is made up of near about 200 compounds and these compounds they are used in making paints dyes drugs naphthalene balls you have heard about naphthalene balls naphthalene balls we used at home to protect our clothes from the attack of moths and insects so next let's talk about coke coke is known as the purest form of coal because it contains 98% carbon so 98% carbon makes it excellent for use it is used as fuel it is used in industries it is used in thermal power plants and mainly it is used for making steel out of the all forms coke is regarded as clean fuel because it produces more heat and less smoke that's why coke it is more preferred because it has 98% of carbon so the coal which has more percentage of carbon it will be considered better so students i hope that you all understand it 